Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris here with WooCurve and gonna run through how to set up your first funnel because once you know how to set up the first one, all the other ones will be the same. So I wanna make sure that you have a clear understanding of setting up the funnel for one-click upsells. And this will be a process that you are able to duplicate over and over. So what I have here, I've got a, a sandbox environment set up and we're just going to start from scratch. So under WooCommerce menu, you're going to see one-click upsells and it's going to take you here where you'll see, an, you'll see an overview of your funnels. And we're just going to create a new checkout funnel. And the first thing we're going to do is give the funnel a name. So we'll just call this one uh, Test Funnel. And then we need to pick a target uh, product. So this is going to be the, the, the product that triggers the upsell sequence to, uh, to come into play. And so for this example, I'm just going to go with sunglasses. So when, when somebody makes a purchase of sunglasses, uh, then I'm telling the system, hey, I have some upsells that, that I want to, to show to this person. And this is just going to be applied to, um, uh, to, to this product here. Now, I could also say that I only want to show my upsells if, if somebody buys two or three sunglasses or one. Uh, so maybe if, if, they, if they buy one pair of sunglasses, I want to make them an offer for a second pair. And uh, if they buy two pair, then I'm not going to show them an offer. So you can you can dial it in on target quantity. Skip offers is is really important as well uh, because with skip offers, if if somebody's checking out with sunglasses and a hoodie, for example, and your upsell is the hoodie, well, you don't want to show your upsell if they're already making a purchase of that product because it's likely that your upsell is going to be slightly discounted in in some way. And uh, you just want to skip that offer if they're already making the purchase of that product. So that's what these two options do here. Uh, but we're just going to run through and I'm in, in this test, I'm going to have two offers in this funnel. And you can set up as many as you want. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and set up offer one and two. And my first upsell is going to be that hoodie with a logo. And this offer, I'm actually going to use a custom page. Now, I could send them to a default WooCommerce page, but if, if you have the ability to set up a, a custom upsell page, your conversion is going to be much higher uh, because you have full control over how you present this page. And here, I'll, all I have is just a, a, a basic sandbox page. Obviously, um, if, if I were really doing this, I would maybe have a video. I would have some, some sales copy here. Um, and, and we get into that a little bit later um, in, in this kind of getting started sequence that, that you're going through right now. But for, for, this, uh, for the purposes of, of this training, I'm just going to take the link to this page. And I'm going to say, okay, my, my custom page for this offer is right here. And the action after buy now is I actually want them to see offer two. And if they say no thanks, I want them to see offer two as well. Uh, obviously, I could have an offer three, which I could use as a down sell, um, but just keeping it simple on this one. Um, then we're going to move down. I want to do a quick check here. So, all right, the offer specific price. So, if I wanted to discount this, let's say I'm going to discount it um, by uh, you know 50% off. Or I could just say, um, you know, put in the, the price of $25.99 or whatever it's going to be. Uh, but for right now, we'll just say 50%. Cool. Then come on down. And then my second offer is, I think I've got a belt in here. Yeah, I'll make it the belt. And this one, I'm going to make that 50% as well. And then my custom page. Here, I've got a second offer set up. And put that in. And then, all right, after buy now, I want them to see the thank you page. And if they say no thanks, I want them to see the thank you page. So this is essentially the end of my funnel. Uh, if I had a third product, then I would be routing people um, 
through the the funnel as I wanted them to go. So um, you really are kind of playing, uh, you know, traffic cop here as you're you're setting the flow for for your customers as they go through it. And it all started with a purchase of sunglasses, and you were just making uh, attempts to one add value to the customer by offering uh, other products that they might be interested in at a uh, at, at a one-time offer uh, and the other thing you're doing is you're increasing the average order value of your your cart and so not everybody is going to take you up on the, these offers but uh, enough will that um, that that you're going to to kind of see the the power of using upsells here really really soon okay and so we're going to get into some of the, the details around how to use short codes because uh, you're going to be putting short codes into these upsell pages um, and I, I've got some more training coming your way on how to do that we're going to talk about uh, cancel target order we're going to get into some more details uh, but my purpose here is I just wanted you to understand the layout of uh, of this part right here how to create a funnel uh, and then what we would do is we'd save those changes and it would be ready to go and then we've got our short codes available here we can get into some some of the options here under settings uh, here in just a bit as well um, but want to get you familiar with the general layout and we're going to dive deeper here in a little bit with some of uh, the other details and nuances of one-click upsells and uh, cannot wait for you to get this up and running in your store